Alright, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to The Outer Worlds, not to be confused with The Outer Wilds, which is a completely different game that I covered a couple months ago that was also amazing. And if you're like me, you've confused both of them frequently enough to call them the other name interchangeably. I certainly did when I got The Outer Wilds, so I was like, oh shit, The Outer Worlds is out. And then I was like, oh, wait, no, 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 this is that other game that I'm really excited for. And the names are completely, like, accidental. They have nothing to do with each other apart from the fact that they're, you know, set in space. And you know what? That's okay. So let's just get going and see. Do we want to do story, normal, hard, or supernova? I want to take a look at this. Oh, you must eat, drink, and sleep to survive. Companions can die permanently crippled. Body and limb conditions can only be healed with bed rest. Weapon and armor work very poorly at zero durability. You can only fast travel to your ship. You can only sleep inside your ship. Only manually save while inside your ship and auto saves are limited. Interesting. I think I'm just going to play a normal. Probably. I've seen a lot of people playing on Supernova. If Supernova works like Ranger mode, I think I'd be super down with it. Because whenever I see a difficulty like this, it's like, enemies have more health, and I immediately kind of lose interest a little bit, because for me, what I like is, is, like, when the difficulty goes up, the enemies fight smarter, maybe hit harder, but so do you, and so it's kind of more of a, uh, quick and snappy, I'm trying to think, risk versus reward kind of situation? No, that's not quite it. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna just leave all these on, and we'll go from there. I just... After Ranger mode in Metro, I've just never liked really hard difficulties in anything else. When prosperity awaits you in the stars, come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Colony new ship Hope found drifting something. Hope to be left at edge of colony. Okay. Clear breach of Hope security corridor. Phineas Ver Vernon Wells, fugitive wanted by Halcyon Holdings. Hey, these go by too fast. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. All right. So do it. Okay, I do get to customize my appearance. So this guy, this guy is an outlaw because he's freeing these people. So what do we want to be? I've got a bunch of points. What kind of person do we want to be? Do I want to be below? To shoulder a burden, friend. Okay, so fall yourself with sheer rage. I am below average in everything. Now let's take a look at what we can do. So carrying capacity is going to be important. Ti tactical time dilation move. Time. Oh, reduced weapon durability. Melee weapon attack speed, ranged weapon reload speed. Intelligence. <laughs> oh boy. Are we doing this, guys? I think I think we're doing this. Dumb dialogue it is. I'm trying to remember what my my absolute barbarian nonsense. Captain Burns. Captain Burns is a little bit close to Mr. Burns, which is worrying. <sighs> yeah, I'm just gonna go with Brick. We'll just accept it. <laughs> I'd prefer not to just reference Borderlands, because it wasn't intentional. He is just, he thinks like a Brick, he acts 
vaguely brickish, brick of brick, brick of brack. Let's go. Why is this the first guy you wake up, Mister, Mister Interstellar Criminal? I don't know. Day, my friend. <laughs> he chose the absolute worst. <laughs> he just picked somebody at random and he ended up with me. <laughs> Please power down your engines and prepare to be not likely bootlickers. <sighs> Initiate skip jump. Rank? Nah, Captain's my first name. Exactly. Status. Structural integrity down 25%. Power levels down 90%. <sighs> Skip drive. Shit. This game is actually surprisingly quiet. I'll have to turn things up. There you are, wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. <laughs> Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, <laughs> not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! <laughs> oh, this game is brilliant already. I like it. I like it a lot. It is... I'm already getting the Fallout feel, but a lot faster. And a lot more humor. Oh, shit. We should have been Captain Kronk. Damn it. Alright, whatever. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes. The smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your, uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm, uh, all the colonists are counting on you. should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. <laughs> I thought I won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. So there's a backwards dodge. That's interesting. I haven't seen that in a game before. I mean, I've seen it in other games, but... Ow. Yeah, you know what? That's still in line with the character I'm role-playing as. Okay. 
So this game's actually kind of quiet, which surprises me. I've got it at 100%. I'm gonna turn the music and stuff back up. I turned it down originally because I want to hear the dialogue no matter what. Uh, let's see. If I turn it up here... No. I don't know if I can actually turn it up for anybody else. Because, yeah, it's at 100%. I guess I'll just turn it up for me for the time being and we'll just see... I'll just get it in editing. Uh, or not. You know what? I think I have an option. Filters. Gain. Go with that. That should be... That's a four decibel gain. Yeah, it's a bit louder. We'll see how it goes. I just don't want to blow out anybody's eardrums with an explosion. Because this is going to have... Gunslinging and stuff. Oh, I can't slide. Oh, that's... Well, alright, no longer game of the year. I'm loving these visuals, though. This pl this place looks awesome. I've been excited for this game ever since they announced it. I, I've i always liked Obsidian's games. Oh, let's see. I, I've always liked Obsidian's games, but I always found them to be a bit lengthy. And maybe I'm focused, I don't know. Let's see, it wants me to sneak. I wasn't paying attention. Awareness meteors over enemies' heads. Ah, uh, let's see. Tell you if they're unaware, suspicious, investigating, or alerted. If I go back, do I get the old previous tutorials? No, it doesn't look like it. Well, that's unfortunate. Ah, uh, let's see. Oh, maybe it does. Let's go back. Because that just popped up. Again, so if we go back here, do I get the previous tutorial? Nope. Dang. Because I wasn't paying attention. Uh, but I've always liked Fallout New Vegas. It just looked like ass, just because it was based off of Fallout 3. Which, like, okay, Fallout 3 is a pretty great game, but, like, it looked old by the time it came out. Like, I think it was based off of the Morrowind engine. And so, no, not Morrowind, Oblivion Engine, which I think might have also still been the Morrowind Engine, just slightly better. Easy now. You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Bonk break shins. Ow. You have low health. Use a health kit? Heck no. Use no health kits. Hey, you, come here. You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, law, that stings. Sit still. I'll patch you up. Uh, looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. How are you feeling? I was kind of. I don't want to voice act this as du as a dumbass. I mean, I could. Did, should I should I just like push deep voice and just kind of voice act? I could. How are you feeling? No, that's that's m maybe a bit too much. Cuz ah, it's tempting. I what does Kronk sound like? Give me a second. Cuz I think Kronk Kronk has like a like a a deeper Deeper voice. I could... Hmm. I don't do deep very well, comparatively. Hey, you do you. The problem is, like, I'm always trying to voice act. I'm just not sure if I can voice act for this whole thing without feeling like I'm an idiot. But... The Joe from Family Guy. Ah. Uh, I actually have never seen Family Guy. Is below average intelligence. Not completely inept. I was just hoping I'd get the dumb options. I'm just gonna read it out loud. Uh, huh. It is the same voice actor. Cool. I'm just gonna read it out loud and save my voice. Trying to push my voice lower means I can't record as long. So, how are you feeling? Better, thanks to you. I might have bled out on my own. Or worse, had to go begging the boss for some Madrina time. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. What's this about marauders? Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. 
Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? I got a better idea. Give me your gun, I'll go get help. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Yes, nailed at that time. Uh, let's see, can you tell me where I am? You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous Saltuna. Do you know anything about hope? The hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. I'm off. And I already have the gun out. Alright, uh, let's see. Anything in... <laughs> Why does he just have a box full of stools? <laughs> Spacer's choice. Absolute garbage in a box. Yeah, what is with this old Westy shit in here? Holy crap, they have you living in absolute filth. Well, I'll take that. Anything else? Yoink. He clearly doesn't care, so I'm looting everything. I mean, I guess they saved his life, so I guess there's a plus on that one. Alright. Tactical time dilation. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Pressing the tactical time dilation button slows down the world, giving you time to think, as well as take action. You have a limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TD meter very slowly, while moving it and attacks drain it faster. TD meter refreshes slowly over time. Wow, that person exploded into jibby bits. And they get a mining helmet. I like the fact that this game has a very slow HP regen. That'll come in handy. I can't loot that man. Or maybe I already did. I'm not sure. Telescoping staff. And some other stuff. I should probably grab a melee weapon, but we're just going to loot everything that we can. Is this, is this a porta body? No, it's just a box. Okay. Anything else? No. Found a new weapon. Oh, I see. Well, first I've got a... Okay, here we go. TNL Weapon Safety Training. Weapon Management. You can have up to four weapons equipped at a time by dragging them to the slots on the top of the screen. On this page, you can inspect your weapons, compare them, flag as junk, or break them down for parts. Players with the engineering skill can repair weapons on the screen as well. Take care of your TNL weapons, and they'll take care of your enemies. Okay, so I've got a Sentry Saber, and... I almost look kind of malicious, but I'm fine with that. So I've got a sword, and I got a beaten stick. Oh boy! <laughs> guess guess which weapon Kronk's gonna gonna go with? Cause I think I think I know which which weapon I'm in love with. Hoping he turns around at some point. Okay, there we go. Don't go for back of head like Mama taught him. This is the lever of beating. Yup. Me play bongo with skull and booty. Wait, did he? Oh, no. You're shooting me. <laughs> when you can't hit the head twice, go for the butt. Softest part of body goes thump. 
Very good. Job's done. Oh god, I could just give him the peon voice. Should I just work on my freaking Warcraft peon voice? Because I could do that. That that almost seems like the easiest voice. Because I can't do Kronk very well, but I could totally do Job's done. <laughs> Work, work. Private Kimball, Lieutenant Mercer. Hey! Get over here before you get yourself killed! What's up? Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech! Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Yeah, where are my dumb dialogue options here? What is this? Oh, I see. That's history. Okay. Uh Yeah, I... I uh, it'll... <laughs> it'll take a little while. I guess it's not peon. It's, um, peasant voice. Uh, is it peasant voice? I think it's peasants. Because peons are the, uh... The... Orc version. I don't know. It's been a while. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna read these out loud for the most part. I'll, I'll experiment with it until I'm confident. I mean, not like it matters too much. Consistency is for actual voice actors. Not me. So I heard. Found one of your teammates holed up in a cave. Really? How is he? Well, uh... Still a moron. I'm hoping you're a little brighter. Of course I am. I'm a superior officer. Stands to reason, don't it? Just you watch. I'll cross these marauders off with a swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Okay. Uh... Do Spacer's Choice guards back down from a challenge? Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Here we go. We. I brought friends. Beat you in the head. More friends! I win! They go down fast. <laughs> Let's look around for a bit. I'm sure we've got time. Is there a stamina bar or could I just run forever? Because, nope. Well, job done. Keep looking around. There's gotta be goodies. Do I have a map? I have a map. Alright, looks like there's probably stuff up there. It looks like there might be a lot more to this. Unfortunately, the map's kind of hard to read. Kronk take goodies from baddies. Now, all Kronk. Okay, do we have anything here? Can I just wander off and they're just going to sit there waiting for me forever? If so... Primal Brute, you say? I'm a behemoth. This is probably a bad idea. Smack him, face! Oh boy. Might be chucking rocks, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, interesting. Well, I'm in that mode. Oh, I'm in that mode, I can actually see levels and stuff. That's really cool. Okay, and it's now dead. Ow. Ow. I'm not even sure what hit me there. It might have popped out of the ground or something? Oh, it was a rock? Okay. 
Back to stealth. Let's go around. I can definitely beat him. I just gotta actually sneak up on this guy. He turned towards me a little too early. Wakey, wakey! Boop. Yeah, so the one, the green one in the back chucks rocks. That's really cool. I like that backwards dodge. That is an incredible mechanic that more of these games desperately need. I can't believe no one else has done it before, honestly. When in doubt, grab the stick. You chuck rock, me chuck stick! And we're level two. Perfect. Alright, let's go check that other monkey. Clonk got clonked. And level up. So, you've managed to gain enough EXP to go up a level. Open your character level. Okay, ledger, level up. Cool. Skill improvements. Every time you level up, you earn skill points. Spend on improving your skills. Spending a skill point on a core skill improves all of the specialized skills in that group to a maximum of 50. After 50, you can add points to the directly to the specialized skill. Every skill improves as it grows, but special unlock bonuses special unlock bonuses occur every 20 points. Read each skill description, see what they are. Armor, consumables, and status effects can temporarily raise or lower your skills. Cool. Uh, let's see. So I can level dodge. Unlock the ability to leap. Dodge forward. I'm really liking dodging. I haven't tried blocking yet. Yeah, level up music was weirdly loud. I don't know why I don't like it. Uh, let's see. So we could level up melee or ranged. Could just go pure persuasion. Oh, I have a bunch of points too. Sneaking, attack, or leadership. I wonder if I ever get stat points. Probably not. After dodging your next weak spot, hmm. These are kind of okay. Oh, but it increases do dodge distance. So if I put a bunch of points into this, what does that up it to? 10% and reduces harmful effects status duration. That's kind of neat. And gun crit chance. Power and sweep attacks. Oh, T TTD location hit effects. Oh, that's for, like, heads and stuff. We still have the goddamn tubes just sticking off of our, our belly. That's hilarious. Hmm. Let's see, what do we have on sneak? Because sneak attack, pickpocket, crouch move speed, weak spot damage, sneak attacks, ignore armor, hacking. Sell goods to vending machines. That's actually really cool. Access to restricted items in vending machines. Turn off mechanicals. Hmm. I kind of like getting this up to 40, maybe. What else do we have? Drug mixer and the inhaler. Plasma damage, shock damage. Companion bonus. Ah, uh, hmm. You must have a 20% chance to cower in fear after the first time you hit them. Auto mechanicals and creatures. These are all interesting. I, you know, I'm going to put five into stealth. I'm just going to put it all into stealth for the time being. I'd really like to get access to restricted items and vending machines. And uh, the lockpick preview sounds like it would be really nice. So I'm going to go with that. At least for now. Okay, welcome to perk selection. On this screen, you can choose which perks to buy with your perk points. You get a new perk point to spend every two levels. You can also acquire perk points through gameplay, such as accepting a flaw, 
Acquiring five new perks makes the next tier of perks available to you. Auntie wants... Oh, Auntie Cleo. Huh. Wants you to be the best, to help her be the very best. Okay, so bonus EXP from companion skills. Reduced vendor prices. Increased base health is kind of incredible, actually. Damage when alone in a party. Extra walk speed. Extra sprint speed. Reduced armor and durability loss. Bending crit chance. Armor rating. Extra ammo at vendors. Extra carrying capacity. And fast travel while encumbered. Traveler sounds good, but I think I'm going to go for toughness first. Oh, and it looks like I might be able to put multiple points into these? Maybe not. But yeah, 50%... No, no, no. I see. That's just the initial and then the full confirmation. But 50% just raw HP is going to make a massive difference because I'm a bit of a... Um... I got a dig stick. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to be picking fights with a lot of things. I can pretty much guarantee it. Oh, was that a plant I could loot? No, it doesn't look like it. Well, do we wander off? No, it looks like we're going to be spending some time on the planet. There's more to this place than than I thought. So let's just do a, a quick perimeter sweep and then go back. Are we going murder hobo? Nah. Nah, I, I'm not going to go full genocide run for this one. It's very tempting if I wanted to do a second run of this to go full genocide and see what happens. Because I could probably... I mean, I don't know. It could be really fun. Can you cast Fist? I haven't seen anything specifically for... Uh, for unarmed combat, but it's probably a thing. Anyway, so... Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. I'm not here to misappropriate anything. I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Genocide procedures initiated. Disengaging airlocks. Preparing to eject all born parties in five, four, three. <laughs> Her portrait two, is amazing. One. Great, I'm getting shot into space twice in one day. You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. I need to get this ship in the air. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Your captain's a red smear under my escape pod. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? I am Cronkthorne. Nod and smile. Excellent. Welcome back, Captain Hawthorne. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. That'll find a part like that in the garage. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you Alex Hawthorne, Prong. the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Captain Haw Hawthorne of the Un Unreliable. I like it. Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. 
Try to stay alive this time. Now can I go play bongo with other people's heads? Because I got real good at that. Let's look around for a bit. This place looks cool. If your equipment is in need of repair or modification, I suppose everything on the unreliable belongs to you now, Captain. Help yourself. No, really. Okay, so we've got a workbench. Workbench allows you to repair, upgrade, and modify your weapons and armor, keeping you combat ready and in tip-top shape all the time. On each screen, first select the weapon and or armor item that you want to work on, then choose what you want to do. Repair it, break it down for parts, modify with mod. Okay, so I apparently have a little a bit more of this than I thought. Wait, how many weapons do I have? Oh, I probably picked all these up. Oh, maybe I should go for, um... So, modify, tinker, repair. Uh, let's see. I have some amount of weapon parts. Can I break some of these down? For like a bit. <gasps> Spacer's choice shovel? I'm just gonna... Let's go to the inventory for a bit. Booyah. Alright, uh, let's see. I wonder if we can store anything anywhere. Toss ball stick! <gasps> yes! Okay, I don't know if we have a storage box anywhere. Do I... do I have to worry about... okay, inventory space, 34 out of 100. Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. Yeah, I don't know if we have a storage box anywhere that I can work with. LG logger. Huh. Okay, I don't see anything else particularly useful here. I could climb, but that's not... that's not Cap Captain Kronk's way. Except for there might actually be something there, so I guess let's go around. Lockers near the front of the ship. Can be used as the storage box. You meant on the outside? What is this Want thing? To be a brand new you? Try out our respecification machine. Alex installed it himself. Right before he died. Respec funds all your spent skill and perk points, then you can... Oh! Uh, no. So I could just respec freely whenever I want, that's awesome! <laughs> We Okay, so locker locker. One of the oh, maybe one of these? No. Oh, these things. Okay, trespassing, lockpicking, hacking, and murder all considered illegal and are frowned upon by society. Avoid being seen if you want to engage in these activities without consequences. Light assault rifle. Okay. So I have these lockers, but I don't think I can actually use them for storage. What can I do for you, Captain? Goodbye. I'll be back. Hmm. Yeah, so we have lockers here, but I can't actually store things in them. Unfortunate. Red door? Red door? There... is there... oh, that door. I was looking for a locker, but yeah, I haven't been in here. The ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. Yep, that's just where the engine is. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, doesn't look like there's too much. Okay, so I'm gonna go here. We're just going to break down a couple of swords. Uh, let's see, DPS is 73, 73, 73, 73, 73. So, unfortunately, it looks like most of these sticks are actually just better than what I've got. Sucks a little bit. Okay, uh, let's, let's just break some things down for a bit. Uh, let's see, because, yeah, I could have a bunch of swords, but I don't really know if there's much of a reason. And what's with the... I don't know what that gem is. Looks like it might be more valuable. Sawed-off shotgun's pretty busted up. Could fix it. I think I might just sell it. Oh, and I do have some armor. Armor management. 
Okay. Do I only get two pieces of armor? I guess I do. Huh. That'll be interesting. Because yeah, I, I have next to nothing. Okay. So we're... I'm just going to go outside. We're just going to go beat people and we'll figure it Say, out. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we got to dock your pay. Got it all wrong. I'm a Starship Safety Inspector. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I'd report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Take care. I'm probably still going to have to pay that fine, but we'll see. Okay, I'm just going to wander off for a while. I'm sure there's more things I could do, but eh, you know what? It doesn't matter. Plus, I want to beat some things with this shovel before it becomes irrelevant. Oh, this is probably one of the, uh, no, it's old wreckage. Looks like the engines for the doctor's ship, but I guess not. Yeah, it's been around long enough for somebody to make a fence here. Ah! Oh, boy. Oh boy. I pissed him off. Pretty bad. Can't tell if he's healing or not. Oh, that's how I melee things. Yeah, the the shovel is kind of bad. Uh Well, if it's just this guy, I did not notice them on the way in. Okay, so that would be the N-ray damage. Interesting. Okay, so where do I see my level bar? It's probably the purple bar. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, it's the yellow bar below the purple bar. Purple bar is... Yeah, slow down. Okay. So even with my limited HP, I can probably turn through these guys. I just need enough gusto and ammo. I've got some. Oh. I forgot. These guys chuck rocks. Low damage weapons are ineffective against heavy armor. On the plus side, kiting is a very valid strategy. Ow! Wow! That Okay, that rock is... Gravage. It's got way more AoE to it. Okay, yeah. Also running out of ammo. But I'm also going at this with, like, no HP. Let's just heal up a bit. Okay. Rodden. Okay, got that. Is 
Who's the other guy? Primal Brute, Primal Behemoth. Looks like these guys are the ones that... I wonder if you can get them to friendly fire each other. Okay. Kiting seems to be the way to go. Pissed off, Daddy, but that's okay. I've got plenty of healing items and still one pissed off dad monster. Okay, and I'm out of, I'm out of ammo entirely. Let's grab the bonk stick, let's heal up. Give him the old Blancarudi right in the face. There we go. All right, wow, who's the toughest one yet? But we're good. I think, I think I looted the little guy on this side over here. I was kind of hoping I could climb these rocks. Did I loot you? Nope, I didn't. All right, let's go check out that wreckage. I think we pretty much killed everything. We're totally out of ammo, but I think that was worth it.